vertex colors. Here we have a head, and if we look at the UVs for it, it's a mess. So we can't use these UVs to add color to this head. So what we want to do is use a different method, because we don't feel like adding UVs, it's just way too complicated. Not really, but let's pretend it is. So we're going to use vertex colors. To apply vertex colors, you have to go to the mesh display menu and hit paint vertex color tool. And if you hit the option box, you immediately get the tool set. Bink. There's my tool settings. Just like any paint tool in Maya, it looks very similar. We can start off with taking a nice yellow and hitting flood to make it completely yellow, and then with a nice red, start painting on it. Now there's three different ways to paint vertices. You can just paint on the points. You can see I can actually only paint on the points. I cannot paint in the middle of a polygon because there's no point there, no vertex there to take on the collar. You have to paint on the individual points. But there the collar sticks. So the resolution is limited to the density of your model. Not good for high density painting, but good for general coloring. I'm now assigning one collar per vertex. That's what vertex mode is. If you go to face mode, you can assign one collar per face, per polygon. Which means that this point, for instance, over here, now has different collars for each adjacent polygon. And that's how vertex collars work. You can have a different collar for each adjacent Polygon. If you go into vertex face, that's what you're painting. You're just painting for each individual face. You can paint a different color for each face that is attached to a polygon. So in this case, I painted five different colors for this one point because there's five different polygons that are connected with that point. Here is a head I prepared earlier. It's got some nice face color over here for the lips, some nice general vertex color over here, and in the color I used vertex face to give different colors per face adjacent to the points, the vertices. So say I like this really ugly head and I want to render it, so I just hit render. It looks like crap because it's Maya software. Let's go to Mental Ray and render again. It looks better, but there's no color. Uh, we have to tell the renderer to use the vertex color. So I have to go into Hypershade, Graph Network, get our shader. So there's a note for that. We go into the Mental Ray textures and find Mental Ray vertex colors. It will show up in your node editor down here. And we need to put the out color of the my mental ray vertex colors into the color of the skin. So now if we render it, it looks gray. It looks gray because we haven't told it which vertex colors to use. You can have multiple sets of vertex colors on a single object, so we have to tell it which vertex color set to use. The vertex color set is part of the mesh, the shape, because it's installed in the vertices, so it's in the shape. Shapes are attached to your shader group, because the shader group is what brings together specific meshes with specific shaders. This skin shader is assigned to the meshes that are attached to this shader group. So if we look at the input of this, we don't get for something at first unless we hit this one over here. There's our simple head shape that pipes into our shader group. From our simple head shape, it would make sense to take the color of the vertex, but no, we take the color sets, and specifically we name the, take the name of the color set and throw that into our Maya vertex colors. There's no input for it, but if you do the white one, you can set other and choose a vertex, uh, color per vertex set. 
There are no color preferred sets yet, but if you just hit the word, it automatically gets you the color preferred set. So let's do it again. I'm throwing it in there. Hit other, color preferred set, click on it, and we get the color preferred set. It's now connected to color preferred set. There's actually two now. So now, if we go back to our renderer, we told the name of the color preferred set to our Murtex vertex color thing. It turned black, but if we turn off textured, it actually, you actually see the color. And now if we render it, yay, it happily renders the colors and we can work with this and we can use these vertex colors, for instance, to drive parameters on a different material that's more uh, high density, uh, use it to drive procedural textures or just a general color to it, which is usually as much as you need to do when, for instance, you are using tune shading. So that's a really brief, quick intro to using mental ray vertex colors or vertex colors in Maya and render them using mental ray.